Hit him in the head, you little nigga. Tree trucker, tree trucker. Hit him in the head, you little ass nigga. We are on and popping. On and popping, popping it on. Pop, pop, pop. Hey, 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 hey. You, you, you notice the difference of what's going on for those that are watching? Welcome to the mobile Just Bizarre channel watermelon versus pumpkin and we are on the move folks we're on the, move. On the we're move we're on the fucking move if you're the all that don't uh can't see but can hear if you can hear the noise in the background that is we are on the road folks that is 95 95 we are road tripping from ct to philadelphia philadelphia i am young pastry yeah. Sorry. Mad ease on it. You know what I mean? You gotta put the ease on it, man. You are watching Watermelon vs. Pumpkin, man. We we in here, we out here. Watermelon vs. Pumpkin.com. This is what you niggas need to know. Watermelon vs. Pumpkin.com. Welcome also. to episode 35. 35. And real quick, let me just give my apologies for the absence of 35. Was it 34? 34. 34. I do Going for 34. And 34 is my nigga Bo Jackson. I really love him. And I'm wow, sorry. Wow, and I did not even mention him. You didn't mention Bo? Oh, ah. just nigga Bo. Nigga Bo. Nigga Bo. <laughs> so uh, I was doing niggas <laughs> drop bows on him. You know what I mean? But, 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 I, but I love y'all niggas. And, you know, little Matty always hold it down. So you niggas don't need no. You don't know nothing. You don't know nothing. We back, though. We in here. We on the move. We headed to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, folks. You know what it is. We back up in here. I told you yeah. that the team was strong, mm. that there was no breakup, that mm. the uh, the war is lifelong. The war <laughs> will continue forever. Right. Uh, either he's going to be at my funeral or I'm going to be at his funeral with the mic. Just like, no, no, yeah, just one last just episode, one, dog. One, one, last, one episode. last episode. Slide this in there. I'm, nigga's going to get a watermelon little souvenir right inside Slide the casket. Slide the watermelon <laughs> in the casket. <laughs> take that, take that, take That's that. Right. Yo, take that to the grave. This is what he would have wanted. Nobody That's touch it. it <laughs> and uh, because we, we skipped a little bit real quick, I mm. am his, not your, co-host, Lil Mattress, L-I-L-M-A-T-T-R-E-S-S. Hit up this hotline, 203-594-6977. You know what it is, man. Yeah. If you're looking for some of the merchandise and you want to support, that's WVPShop.com. Mm -hmm. We got all types of designs up talk, there. Talk. Um, we're we're going to try to work on some... Uh, pumpkin inspired merchandise for the season that's upcoming oh, you know coming. we want some coming. you know maybe i'm a pumpkin spice bitch who knows we don't know <laughs> not you know, sure yet listen it's, nowadays women uh women are more bold than they used to be so true story it's almost uh can i akin it to the uh black people taking control of the n-word and right. taking it to themselves it seems like white women they call themselves bitches now <laughs> and true. uh it's a almost a term of endearment so maybe pumpkin spice bitch maybe i love Pumpkin, who knows? Right. We already got our love pumpkin t-shirts on it's there, inter man. It's intertwined and it yeah, came yeah. together in one bucket. Bucket of love and truth. But <laughs> the website, the web store is up. It's popping. It's there. Uh, mm -hmm. The shipment is quick. So WVPShop.com. Yes. Use code watermelon for 10% Water, off your watermelon, purchase. Watermelon, watermelon, GBIClothing.com. Mm -hmm. Take it to that same place, man. So, you know what it is. So, Hit me so, up on all social media. So, Lil Mattress on everything. Yeah. Watermelon versus Pumpkin is on everything. Instagram, Facebook, all that. Not on Twitter because, I mean, we just, yeah, yeah. who's going to do that? Ooh, you, want tweet? you want to tweet? You want to tweet? Yeah. Did, they, did, they, did they expand the number of characters you can have now in Twitter? Uh, I don't know. Is I don't more, know, man. Is it more than 120 characters? Characters, I'm not even sure, but but what I will say is that uh, as you know that you can watch us on YouTube if you want to see the faces. Look you can it. listen to us anywhere that you listen to podcasts if you want to hear the voices. But little update for the YouTube man: we have passed 150 subscribers. We are now at Talk. 154 subscribers, which is really really dope. And like yeah. we said, man, we know that we're uh, small, but. We're got, what, 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 what is it? I don't even know what the company was, but 10 million strong 10 million and growing. Yeah. Oof. Okay, Ooh, and right that? now, we are growing like a... Woof! It's coming yeah, in hot. Yeah, you're yeah, going to yeah. hear semi-automatics, a.k.a. Sometimes, 18 wheelers with flat tires. Sometimes those semis is... <laughs> I thought... I, I, I'm not going to lie. I thought you were farting at first. Listen, I was just like... Brrr, listen, I take pride. What is going on over here, Nick? We might, we might catch some accidents out here, folks. Guys, if you look in our peripheral, you might mm. see some... Uh, some things going on because, like we said, we are live from the road. But mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. real quick to tie that up, if you're subscribed to uh, YouTube, we really do appreciate it. Absolutely. Hit like, hit share, hit subscribe. Um, man, because like I said, we started at zero. Now we up to that 154. And uh, 
I understand to some people it's absolutely nothing, but to us, mm. man, we're building and we love it. So yeah, we appreciate so everybody out there. Year, we appreciate mm -hmm. y'all, man. Every little big nigga that's out there that loves watermelon, loves pumpkin, and loves when they are together. Because the war won't stop. But as long as we discuss it, we can get some resolve here, people. Mm -hmm. The resolve. war might not stop, but we have unity. And as long as we in this war Ooh, together, together, no matter the weather, what? Ooh. Talk to them. You know I me. Mean? My people was on the front line in the Civil War. Yo, front line, front line. You know I mean? We willing to die for this shit, nigga. Shit. Tell them about it one time. Listen, so we heading out to Philadelphia, y'all. And this is the home in the city of Brotherly Love. Brotherly Love. And as you can see, I am the Eagle fan, the bird. You see the shirt. Champions! The Regal Beagle Eagle. We going out. This is my first time actually going to the stadium. Actually, clear that top note. Uh, my first time going to an NFL game. Hello. We out here, and they are playing the New York Jets. Hey, wow. You know, uh, it is, folks, it is a... Um, preseason game actually the last preseason game of number four yeah number four last uh preseason game before the season starts next week and uh so what you're going to get out of a game like this is you're going to get the scrappers the scrappy the niggas that's trying to make the team you're getting the uh, people that are this is their last chance to make the team last chance tonight today we might see some people play their last game in the nfl because man after today, some people get cut. Niggas get cut. They might not ever make a team again. So mm. this is your chance to be on that 53-man roster registrar. You got to get there. If not, then you're, you're you're trying to find a job like Des Bryant. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> Des can't find a job to save his life. Des a. It's a different story. Right now, we're talking Philadelphia and the Jets. And I guess this is considered kind of a green boat. Okay. Green bow. Green bow. Somebody's going to be wearing white and green. Somebody's going to be wearing green and white. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, it's all green love, baby. You know? And uh, I want to see some young guys. There's going to be some dope dudes. Uh, the guy from the Jets. Pause. The rookie. Some dope yep. dudes. <laughs> <laughs> some dope dudes. There's gonna be some I want to see dudes. some young guys. We'll see some young dope dudes. <laughs> Bronx, Staten, <laughs> Queens. We drove through them all. We drove through them all. So, mm. you know, there's going to be some young gunners out there trying to make this squad. It's We're going to Philly, time. and the Young Gunners will be there. <laughs> Shout out to Neef. <laughs> Chris and Lil Neefy for niggas over 30 years old. You understand. <laughs> wow, and we are about to hit some dead-ass stop traffic. Oof. So, so good thing that we have a podcast to do. There's good things going on, man. We got a podcast. We riding out here. Now, what upset me is I heard little birds chirping before. This nigga right here is a boss. Um, <laughs> <laughs> about my city that I have yet to be to, but I'm about to be there today. Uh, they say Philadelphia is a dirty city dirty bird <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a dirty bird in these niggas they, they say immediately entering philadelphia you are greeted with debris trash and mm. hobos i mean that's home for me anyways so uh, they're about to get hobo -bo you know that ain't nothing different but most like i said before most niggas that say that are usually from new york and who are they to speak about dirty cities just hating on it you know what i mean like come on cut that out man yeah i'm excited because i um i was as I said on the last podcast, I was visiting my father this weekend in uh, New Hampshire, mm. and because he's retiring up there, uh, doing the whole mountain man thing, cutting down trees, doing Oof. things, and saying stuff. Dad's and, a lumberjack. Exactly. <laughs> and um, I had told him, I was like, yeah, I don't think I ever been to Philly, because, mm. you know, as an adult. But he said when I was younger, like three or four years old, we did take a trip out there to okay. go to some, I guess... I'm not sure if it's still there, but they had a Sesame Street type thing. Yeah, Sesame and, uh, Place. Sesame Place. Yeah, is out Sesame there, Place. So we, we went to go to that, but it was raining, so we kind of nice. like saw the, you know, did the steps real quick, all right. that. But it's nothing that I remember. So for me, this is the first time. This the is, first time. The first time. I went to Philly. <laughs> I was fine. Should we get condoms? So I don't remember <laughs> the first time. Oh, I man. was. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so Philly's not ready. We're not ready. We are ready. I don't know if Philly's ready. But we, we're definitely going to check out some monuments. Uh, we're going to see some of uh, the Rocky. You know, they got the, the Rocky, Rocky statue, man. The, the Rocky Boa. steps. You see the shirt. Show them the shirt on these niggas. Man, man, man. You, you can't that, even see that. See that we're we about to be right there, right though. Right there. That's Bell yeah, You can see yeah. it. Right there. Yeah, if, uh, if you're watching on the YouTube, if you can see it, man, we got the special Rocky T-shirt mm -hmm. popping off right now. Talk I made it last him. night. That's an iron-on right there, mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> it's all right. Respect it's the G. nothing. And we also I got just want to show respect, you know? Right. We also got a slab of ribs in the trunk. We're going to pound that. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hot right now. We could probably have the slab of ribs on the front. Right. And just, it might Oof. even be cooking in the trunk. You never know. But they say, uh, what, what was the expression? Is, is, is devil's dick out here mm. that hot, cuz? It sends your throat. Listen, this is seriously a heat wave going on. I think for the last... 
days, maybe? This summer has been a heat. You know, we yeah. got, last week there were two days where it was, because me, I love the fall. Um, mm. Oh, yeah, fall, let's know, go. I'm white. So <laughs> the pumpkin, no, no, it's not about the pumpkin. It's just about chilly, I like, sweater weather. I like the medium. I like the spring and the yep. fall. And because spring doesn't exist anymore because of global warming and, blah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Polar bears. Um, <laughs> Sorry. He's like, Yo, you see the skinny polar bears, man? That shit's not even cool. <laughs> That's fucked up. Yeah, man. That's um, fucked up. But because spring pretty much doesn't exist anymore, we kind of just go from like, oh, it's winter. Bah, it's summer. Right. Um, Man, I, I enjoy the fall. I enjoy that cool weather to be able to walk outside and just be comfortable. That that's what right. I like. Comfort. I, I enjoy some of the warm summer days. You know what I mean? But to me, fall is just it's fucking comfortable right. to be in there, man. Like you, when the hot days are like this in the summertime, to me, I, I you know a little dip in somewhere, a little 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 cool pool yeah. or something, or the ocean or some shit like that's where it's at. But when you know, there's only so much you can. You know, disrobe before you go to jail. You know? Exactly. <laughs> like real shit. Like you can't take off so much before they lock your ass up. For real. But in the wintertime, you can always throw layers on, nigga. Yep. You can always layer the fuck up and be like a marshmallow man walking down the damn street. Exactly. I'd rather be cold. I'd rather be cold than be t too hot. You know what I mean? Because right. that overheating shit is. Right. Hoo -hoo! And like right. today, we stopped at a little rest stop. Soon as you get out the car, bro, there's nothing like hot wind. Yeah, hot wind. Hot and, and wind. It's straight down the fucking esophagus, and you don't yep. even know what's going. Ah, uh, ah, uh, <laughs> you know what the hell's going on, man? Hell yeah. You, you know, so uh, yeah, it's hot, and we're heading to Philadelphia, and I think it's gonna be just as hot there as it was back home. I think so, man. It's only about three hours away, so they. Uh, I can't imagine that they're too much of a different. Right. But um, yeah, man. Uh, when it left the house, it was 91. I don't know what it is right now, but I can't imagine that it's too much different. Mm, but 91, it's 92. And the real feel. No, it's all about the real feel. Yeah, all about the real feel. The real feel. It's 91, real feel, 99. Right. It's like, you niggas is outrageous. I look, I, I, I'm kind of with you, though. I kind of look forward to the fall. You know, it's usually you put on a little, I put on a little more pounds in the fall. You know, the pies and shit are slinging out the oven and shit. The you cider. Know, yeah, you know, my like, you know, my lady knows how to cook and shit, and she likes to bake, and I like to fucking taste it. I don't cook up, cook up. You know, it's a book up. Book I'm up. young pastry. Of course, I like baking goods. What's wrong with you niggas? Think about Come it. Come on, work with me, not against me. Shit. But, you know, this is the last game of the season, uh, preseason. And next week, the, the regular season's popping off, y'all. Mm -hmm. And I, I, and those I are look, the tickets that we can't afford. Right. So we're going <laughs> to this game because we can't afford it. Listen. True story. Listen, the market is real. Especially because, like, the Eagles just won a Super Bowl. Yep. All them niggas is pricing high. Oh, uh, depending on who they playing, <laughs> depending on how high the tickets are. Like, who, who you going to play who? Uh, a, a team yep. that is good? Oh, okay. Let them play the Patriots in regular season. Boing. Yep. But I heard even that preseason game was a lot. Then we look into that one. The yeah. Patriots, uh, Eagles, that preseason game was like, what the fuck is going on? They spiked those prices to see Tom Brady. It's just like in the NBA when uh, LeBron plays anywhere. LeBron comes to town. Yep. It's like he's spiked just going to be – he's not even playing, but he's like, oh, well, he's there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like Elvis or like fucking, uh, uh, you know, Jim, James Brown. It's like when he's in the building, the king, the god, he's there. Yep. You know, so we're going to – oh, we're also going to do – I'm looking forward to uh, the Philly cheesesteak – taste test so for y'all out there y'all gonna y'all yep. gonna see us experiment we're gonna put that up on the page uh so we're, gonna, we're gonna test it out the big talk of genos and pats those are the two they iconic places those are the two iconic places down there that they say that's where you want to get your you know staple the first to ever do it Genos those are the ones, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. They're right next to each other. They've been beefing for centuries, like the Montagues and Capulets, nigga. It's going down. Uh, what do you say, niggas like me know about Shakespeare? Fuck you. I know a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. You know, I, I, I fucking... I It'll definitely them. be a first time for that. Like, I've never had the authentic right. Philly cheesesteak, so that'll be cool to uh, experience, taste test, see which one we see like what, better, right. do see things, see say we, stuff. See, say stuff, and, uh, you know, and, and, and totally have a circle jerk with these subs, man. Pause. I don't get it. But, uh, so that's going down out there. And uh, we're going to be out there seeing it. But what's really interesting to me, what was that one you were talking about? Uh, we had this nice discussion on what happened yesterday. The man. The myth. The myth. And the legend. Birthday was yesterday, folks. August 29th. August Michael 29th. Jackson. That's it. He would have been 60 years old, man. 60. Sententa. I, I forgot how to say that in Spanish. But yes, the nigga would have been 60, man. About as old as my parents. Actually, my mother's uh, three years older than the nigga. Yep. Sorry, ma. Just gave you age out. But, uh, you know, Mike, man. God. Mikel. That was the man. I don't give a fuck what you say. 
Yeah. He had a lot of shit going on. People accused. He's been a lot of allegations, a lot of things, you know, touching little kids and all that. Which he was stupid for putting himself in those positions. I give him that. Yeah. You know, I give him that stupidity crown to wear. But uh, I just think he was just really that fucked up. To me, personally, I just think he is Joe Jackson made him perfect, but made him fucked up <laughs> in the same sense. You know See, what I, I mean? think Michael was born with, I mean, because when you're, whatever, five years old and singing like that, yep. he was born with a certain oh, amount yeah. of talent. And I think uh, Joe Jackson Joe just, might have just beaten the greatness into him. <laughs> you never know. There's that certain that amount. Great, beating it into you. Damn, I wish I, oh, damn, say, nah, I feel bad. I, should, I wish I my pops was around today. You should have beat me, son. The greatness into me. Real, make me better. Make me better. Beat me till I'm great, nigga. That's a t-shirt right there. Right. Beat me till I'm great. Beat me till I'm great. But, but no, there was some wild shit that came out about um, Sony right now is getting sued because apparently on one of his posthumous albums that he put out, that's mm. the album put out after he died. Um, there were songs on there that weren't sung by him, which okay. is crazy. There were three songs on there really? where. Whoever sang it could sound just like Mike. Okay. But if you really listen to the songs, I, I, I took some time to listen. Yeah, it's not him. It's, it's not crazy. Him. Like you it's, see, if you, if you it's listen so to it, you close, tell, right? But it's not him. Well, this guy kind of is pretty good. Uh, the weekend, when I first heard one of his songs, that who gonna pray for me? Like he hits those Michael notes and shit. Like yeah, yeah. Oh, I see a little influence in it. I see. Definitely got the inspiration yeah, there. Like the, I, the dream, same shit. He's dream. got a. Yep. Um, He's got a song that I know he wrote for Michael Jackson. It's called Walking on the Moon or Walking on the Sun. One one of the okay. two. Wa walking on the moon. I think it's Walking on the Moon. Yeah, but, yeah. like, regardless of the blatant reference of moonwalking, like, dude, he made it for Michael Jackson. Like, you could tell Dream sang it, and you're just yeah. like, this yeah, that would have been the one that he would have submitted this to Mike is, yeah, and had Mike him sing, like, cool. man. Like, I didn't know there was a lot of people that, like, Babyface wrote for Mike. I didn't know that. Yep. You know, like, some niggas wrote some shit for Mike. Yeah, but man. he did write a lot of his own stuff too, y'all. Yep. Yo, Mike, Mike was he was he was good with his shit now, you know. No man, he was good. And then then there's a, also the other crazy shit that came out about the rumor that why his voice was like that so long is they said that uh, Joe Jackson, his father, once again, they were talking about this dude was a fucking diabolical human being that mm. he actually had Michael uh, chemically castrated when he was younger, like due to injections or what else what may fuck? have you to where. His nuts never grew, so he never. This is some real shit. So yeah, that, I mean, the, it's you know, saying, it's right. the rumor. Right. Rumor has it. <laughs> rumor has um, it. that so then he never went through puberty. So, so then he voice. never. So his voice never, you know, never got changed into yeah. like a deep. Yeah, I was wondering. Mike never. Mike never got his man voice. No. <laughs> but some people, I thought, just go. Some people go through life like that. Maybe, maybe those people, their nuts never just drop. Yeah. But it, maybe this, like you said, Joe was like, Mike, you're the key. And the key is you having that pitch, so we mm -hmm. got to do some shit to this nigga. And he's probably telling Mike, it's no, don't worry, it's just, you know, hormone shots, you're going to be fine. Yeah, it could have, yeah. Uh, it's just, and I'm sure back at, that's back in the day where, like, as a kid, you're not, like, listen, nowadays there's, fuck you, mom. Dude, right. that didn't happen back no, then. I don't think no. people understand. And like, then you when dad get, told you, was, or mom and dad told you something, you can know, now you can cross-reference the niggas. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'm going online right now, nigga, you full of shit. Right. <laughs> So it, it's a, uh, I mean, you always hope that, of course, that didn't happen, but that's the right. rumor. And it seems like my, uh, excuse me, Joe Jackson was a real piece of shit. So right, right. So his his, his shoe fit, he wore it, mm -hmm. and, and he died wearing that. You know, yeah, so, man. Mike, rest in peace to Mike, man. Rest I was uh, I was Mike. such a fucking Michael Jackson fan as a kid, man. It was like, yep, nigga, I, I what's the glove? Mm -hmm. Like my mother used to have me do shit uh, when her friends came over. I was the um, entertainment. Do do it. If you do the do the Michael Jackson and turn the light switch off. I used to do the whole thing. Like I didn't have a regular pair of shoes. They were my Michael Jackson shoes. Yep. Like I put them on. Like that's that's phrase dressed up with nowhere to go. That was that was uh -huh. me, nigga. I always wanted to wear dress up ties and shit and put on my Michael Jackson shoes just to turn off the light switch. <laughs> 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 I love it. You know what I mean? Like yo, shit was real. Uh -huh. like, who the fuck gets dressed up just to do just a, to a, a mic boot? Just to turn off a light switch. Just, just to go boot. to bed. <laughs> <laughs> just to go to bed. I'm in the bed with a fucking three piece on. Who am I, nigga? I don't even know. I love it, man. Oh, I, I remember look. me and my brother trying to learn how to moonwalk um, in the kitchen with the socks. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just trying right. to, trying to get the, the slide right. Yeah, I ain't and, throw the baby uh, oil down, right? <laughs> no. And, man, I, I could never get him. My brother was okay at it. Mm. I, I just, it didn't work for me. But, uh, yeah, man, Michael, I, he's one of those people, I don't think people understand, like, 
even after he died because he was marred in controversy when he was alive, right. yep. I don't think people understand like who he was. And to me, somebody like that right now is uh, Elton John. Like, okay. I don't think people understand how dope Elton John was. Right. Like, if you ever put Elton John into your Spotify or <clears throat> into your YouTube, anything like that, of the playlist, mm. and like, you're just he, like, oh, and, a, and another. Oh, and a, when when you have, too? like, <laughs> 50 or 60 hit songs, you're like, holy shit. You forget he was how long right. someone's been doing it. You forget how good somebody right. is. And, and I these, think. And these ain't B-side songs. These were, like, exactly. said, hits, like, boom, boom, like songs you all know you've heard in commercials, weddings. Yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, parties everywhere. Like, oh, he sang that one, too? Yep. Oh, shit, that one, too? God damn, piano man. You that nigga, son. Exactly. <laughs> and, and I think that goes for Michael Jackson. I think people forget, like. How he was really that dude. Like, you know, dude, put on Thriller, right. put the entire album. Like, there's there's very few albums ever where you don't have to skip a song. Like, listen, psh. when you got 85 year old white guys to this day saying that Thriller's video yep. was the best video of the time. Ever. Ever. Like, nobody's ever put a video like that. Like, he was, that was such a groundbreaking fucking video, man. Yeah. Wasn't nobody doing no movie type shit like that. He no. made a whole epic movie fucking, like, it was like, Beat Street meets fucking uh, um, what's the one with the fucking Return of the Zombies type? No, shit. what's the what's the one where they're dancing with the knives and shit? Oh, West Side oh, Story. Yeah, yeah. West Side, side Story. West, West, West Side. <laughs> West Side Story meets Beat Street, nigga, and throwing a little bit of uh, what's the shit with Electric Boogaloo, nigga? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Throwing that whole '80s breaking, punk, yeah, that whole funk '80s, and then get that '50s where there's like synchronized dancing and shit with zombies. You know what I mean? Like, you know how many zombie fans? were inspired like the nigga who created walking dead probably was inspired by that fucking video right. you know what i mean like he was a kid at that time i'm sure like oh man what made you want to get into creating the walking dead well it all started with thriller <laughs> exactly <laughs> so a thriller video and it was on right so for you what um maybe a top three or maybe a one if you got it what would be your favorite michael jackson song Oh, favorite song of Sid, man. He's got it's a lot tough. of really like, I, Yeah, ah! I know. I'm trying to remember, like, as a kid, which one I used to ask Cheese, like, played it a lot, or which one I really dug. Uh, I was a real, really, really big uh, Smooth Criminal fan. Yeah. You know, especially for the fact that I really know what he was saying. So, so you know, those parts, mm -hmm. and as a kid, you, you have a good... Yep. That was and, back in the day, like, not knowing <laughs> the lyrics, but just being young as shit yeah. and just, you knew the flow. You knew the flow. You know what I mean? It was like, and that beat was so dope, you know what uh -huh. I mean? And, and uh, the video with the epic lean and shit, like, was there wires yeah. or wasn't there? It's still, Were the weights uh, in the shoes? Who right. knows? Who knows? It's still a mystery. I don't think they ever really fucking debunked that one as far as, like, yo, that, that was really that nigga or was it? <laughs> how did we build the pyramids and how the fuck did he lean? <laughs> like that that's it those are pretty much those are your questions right there but i that and of course bad was like mm. epic bad was my shit man who's bad you know yep. there's that doom, 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 doom. Doom. like that shit just made me stand on the couch like i yelled at nigga just yep. <laughs> but now nah, I, 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 there's so many man but you know those two i, I probably I know it's tough to it is i mean billy jean was fucking super dope I mean, she wasn't my lover. You know? <laughs> she wasn't. Dirty Diana. I don't. Ooh. Ooh. Dirty Diana. Dude, dirt. <laughs> How? Dirty Diana. I liked when he got into, um, like, when you could tell, like, there was a certain Michael Jackson that was smooth as fuck. Right. You know, um, what, what, what's the one with Chris Tucker in the video? Rock? Rock uh, with me? Yeah, go, rock with me. Yeah, yeah, that, like, he was smooth. Yeah. But I like when he would get. Well, you could almost tell he was like angry, like right, um, Dirty grunge. Diana, yep, and got um, grungy on you. And then what's the world song of? Um, Look at this world. Uh, um, oh, which one's that? Damn it! What is the world That's song? It's definitely not We Are the World. <laughs> no, 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 it's not we that. We are the world. But, damn, um, Mike did that one too. God damn, Mike. But they don't care about us. All I've been, 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 they don't really care about us. Yeah. Like he was Woo. when he got deep into it. Right, and then that, that was one, my jam. Don't stop. Me yep. Like shit, Mike, how you feeling that? My yeah. probably got beat up in bars or some that shit. <laughs> like Mike made him be like, yo, fuck that. Who you want? You better stop talking me around. You got punched in the mouth. Look at you now. You ain't Mike, nigga. Stop. And Mike probably wouldn't win any fight anyways, but his aggression made you feel like he would have. Exactly. <laughs> like he could dance you to death. You right. know what I mean? Like, I don't even want to fight this nigga. I just want to watch him dance. Pretty young PYT. Right. That fucking. <laughs> Shit, Mike. and then uh, Michael Jackson. I mean, could be the fucking theme song to this podcast. 
Doesn't matter if you're black or white. Come <laughs> on, man. <laughs> black or white. Tyra Banks was Woo! in there. Or was it Tyra Banks or Halle Berry was in that video? One of the two. Oof. Look, but, you, you guys might, you might, got, you might, got, you might get a snippet played behind us in this month. Yeah. I mean, you never know in Watermelon vs. Pumpkin Cup. But that was the thing um, where even he, that was another groundbreaking video of like, remember in black and white when there was just like the turn around, boom, it's a white person, turn yeah. around, black person, oh, turn that around, was, Indian. Yeah, for the, the that graphics. That shit was dope. The graphics, every time the head turned, the shit yeah, just Yeah, man. Fucking, whoever the guy was, the. The guy who created that graphic wise, and he was groundbreaking because that shit was Kiki. Nobody was doing that shit. What nobody doing that? No, you know. So Mike, Kiki to Mike, kudos because he basically was a director within his own directed videos. You know what I mean? Mm. Like there was niggas that were there directing the shit, but Mike was like, "No, it's all wrong, all wrong." <laughs> exactly. What if I came up from the smoke? How about when I step on the floor, they glow as I step on them? Ooh, that video. You know what I mean? That shit was righteous. Ooh. Righteousness was not gone. It was there. <laughs> it was also, there. man, um, on another, I think it was, it might have been the album that he put out right before he died or the mm. one that came out oh, right after it, he died. Okay. The, um, no, there, it was the one that had Biggie was on one of the songs oh, for wow. it. And um, like Timberland made some beats, but he okay. had a song. Like called joint. He had a song called Don't Let Go of My Hand that featured Carlos Santana. <laughs> Carlo, Carlo, Yo, Carlo. Because you know when Santana in, in that famous working. song, played by Carlos Santana. And then, <laughs> Listen, oh. when, when Santana get them fingers working, yeah, that boy's something else, boy. Get that ugly face going yeah, with mean? the fucking fedora. Whoa. That nigga get it in, cuz Fedora Jones. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Carlo. Carlo, no say your ass. Say Carlo Santana. Santana. Yeah, Damn, man. man, Mike is Mr. My Book. And you, then you For get real. the people like, oh, he was, people that don't, and those are people I say that aren't really music people, or they're just really stuck in one genre. They just, oh, he wasn't a, he wasn't no musical genius. He was a pedophile. You know, you get the, I like, the, will rent a helicopter, fly it over a <laughs> volcano, and fight you to the death, <laughs> if that's your opinion. No. I've run into these people like, are you fucking kidding me? But mo mainly, like I said, 75-year-old, Those are the people guys. that like KFC El over Popeyes. Fuck right, them. Right, right. Elvis, KFC, like in motherfuckers, you know. Yeah. The Elvis Presley fan is like, oh. You know, if I'm honest, I prefer Roy Rogers. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> but it's like, you know, he wasn't as great as Elvis. Like, come on, man. Elvis was good. That, he was great. Are, those are different. That's not different time eras, man. Yeah, Mike had them. That'd be like, on. well, you know, Jay Z isn't as good as Guns N' Roses, but yeah, they're not. You don't. Right. You can't those compare two. those two. Right. Right. You, you can do a J to Young Neef. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But, but that's about it, right there. But did they do? Was there anything like? Uh, I'm pretty sure there was a lot of bars and shit that probably just played his music all day. Yeah, I think that was it, man. But I think it was just all over the radio all the time. Right. And, so that's um, so funny because when I had, I brought my daughter to the hair salon yesterday to get her hair done before school, and it, it was killing on the radio. Now I know why. I didn't know. I was like, damn, yep. Mike is on heavy right now. Turn that shit up, boo. Yeah, you man. He about to turn me arch back in his bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but I remember because um, I was going to do anything that I could to go to that tour because when he passed away, he was gearing up for a tour. If you ever mm. watched the documentary, This Is It. I'd still never seen it. You I'm gotta see it, man, yeah, because you can see the dress rehearsal of the show, mm. so you almost see like what the show would have been. But even how you were saying with uh, him directing movies and things, or right. directing his videos, he's there directed like, no, 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 that's not how, so the dance no. is gonna boom, boom, bop. Right. Like he, boom, boom, bat, man, beer, he's spin, so. Stop. Somebody give me a latte. He's <laughs> like, damn, Mike, you a bad motherfucker, man. Like, you can see the genius of him and how he's teaching these 20-year-old kids, like, no, 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 dance like this. And they're right. like, oh, okay. Yeah, like He's really feeding them right. knowledge it's like and information. If Mike had his voice, some crazy accident were to happen when he was alive, and his voice was completely gone, the nigga could still be a dance coordinator. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? He could still be a director. You know what I mean? It's yep. like... That's when you know a motherfucker has got so many talents. It's like, man, you are just overflowing, nigga. It's yeah. like when you could do a hundred different things, it's like, damn, and be really good at it. Not just do them, but like execute them to like the highest level. Exactly. Not just do them, but excel and be right. a master of, you know, Right, what the fuck you're doing. Yeah. So, shit, Mike, man. Rest in peace. I miss Mike. Right. Nigga, I could cry right now, but I ain't going to do rest it. Rest in peace to not Mike. In my, not in my Eagles hat. You won't catch me crying, nigga. Because like I said, when he died, he was working on that tour, and man, like he was supposed to go out like, World tour, U.S. tour, all right. that shit, and I was like, "Yeah, man, I'll pay to go see it wherever the fuck it is, right. no matter what. Like, if I got to drive to New and York, they, wherever and they it goes." Out for that nigga, man. Japan. Oh, yeah. Oh, Michael. They, he didn't have subtitles and captions to a song. No. They were listening to it in English. <laughs> it exactly. Just, they just passed out for the nigga. Like, he was just that bad to him. Like, holy shit. Yep. Gyrating and popping, and what the fuck is going on?
Fuck, man. Rest in peace to Michael Jackson. Yeah. That shit sucks. Hopefully, but, anything he was ever accused of, he never did. Hopefully, he just, you know, never reached puberty, so he still liked hanging out right. with kids and didn't want to, you know, do anything to him. Right. But I tell you who's having a hard time resting in peace. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Transition. <laughs> Aretha, Aretha. So Aretha, Aretha. it's been, I don't know, a week or two? I think it's been like two weeks. Maybe more? I almost feel like it's been more than two weeks. I think it's been at least two. At least two weeks. Let's uh, throw that out there. At least two. At least two weeks since Aretha Franklin, uh, the, the legend, uh, R&B, soul sister, singer, since singing since she was 12 years old, uh, 14, uh, passed away, and they have yet to bury her. She's being paraded around the world, folks. Can't seem to get her in the ground. Can't <laughs> seem to get her in the ground. I mean, the last one they did it to was probably James Brown in the ground. What? Boss? Yeah, James, but James Brown hung out in, a, like, a refrigerator because um, <laughs> the family was fighting over his body and all that okay, shit. Okay, right. Where he's going to go is his wishes. Like, damn, yeah, damn yeah. You, got, you got fucked up. You ain't leave nothing in order before you left, nigga? <laughs> but Aretha, I swear to God, they got her on tour like fucking, um, <laughs> what, what, what's that movie with the, where they're parading around the dead guy at the party? Or, oh, we're going to burn. <laughs> yeah, yo, they got fucking Aretha at Bernie's right now because weekend at Aretha's. <laughs> weekend at Aretha's. What the fuck is going on? So, what was this you were saying? To she um, is getting clothes changed. Yeah, they're they're changing I, her outfits for the different things that they're doing. Like, Oof. they're doing, okay, we're going to do this showing now, but, you know, God forbid she wears the same thing twice. She's dead. Oh, my like, God. Like, you don't need to keep changing her fucking outfit. And, like, who's... And there's a little Frenchman back there, a little a little foreigner. No, we, no, honey, it's all wrong. We have to put the jewels around the... We have the rosary and put it... And, like, really getting into this fucking yeah. decorating this, this corpse. It's a shell, folks. It is not Aretha anymore. She gave you what she gave you to this world when she was alive, and now she is gone. Exactly. Take what she gave you and keep it moving and let her fucking body be in the ground somewhere. Exactly. Her- like, respect. Like, that. that's the whole thing to where everybody's going to be out there because they did something on Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Like, they, they keep right. doing it every fucking day, moving her to a different location, changing her outfits, all that. And then the fucking ironic thing is that then everyone's like, Rest in peace. Rest in peace. You're fucking with her body. <laughs> You're dragging her body all over the place. Right. Listen, and I'm not. I'm and they're doing shit to, to it to make it not decompose. So they're, exactly. they're, they're fucking doing something and in injections and doing all kinds yep. of, you know, extra stuff. In. I don't know what the fuck they do, but it's something they're doing and refrigerating her often. Yeah. And, and I'm telling you, I'm not saying that anybody's um, disrespecting the body in a physical sense, but like, listen. To change the clothes of somebody that is dead. Right. Think about that. Right. There isn't like, there's probably not a very um, soft, careful, and compassionate way to do it. Like, if the body starts going through rigor mortis, right. like, yeah, you, you're they're cutting off the clothes, or you got to fucking get the clothes off. Then you're trying to put on new clothes on a right. fucking dead body. Like, so now, now, how's that? Are you fucking right. splitting the clothes and putting them around? Like, you got to get her hands up over right. her head to put a fucking shirt on. Yeah, like, it's stiff as hell. It's, it, I think they're just like, like, cutting it open and putting it on her and sewing it on her. You know what I mean? Hopefully. Because right. I, I think that's the shit that people don't think about is like, like you're fucking you breaking guys keep bones changing the fucking on. clothes right. and doing all that stuff like and then you're screaming out R.I.P. forever like yeah right. just it's keep that, disrespecting that fucking body because then everyone's performing at these right. fucking concerts like one of the dudes from the Four Tops performed at one of them. Yep. Johnny Gill's out there doing his and it's like yo. Yeah that's just crazy. Yeah. Respect and do these shows like hello. She, she doesn't have to be there for him. But I'm saying <laughs> but hello I mean did you hear what the nigga said? R-E-S-P-E-C-T. <laughs> she said it best, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> you are not listening to what the fuck she was saying. Nigga. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Oh, my God. Don't parade around <laughs> my dead body. <laughs> like, that's probably not let what she Let me rest want. in peace. What? Come on. Let her live in the underworld and let her live <laughs> beyond. Funny. Let her live, but not like that. <laughs> let her spirit be gone. Right? Niggas want to. And I always think about it. You know, I just had a weird thought because weird thoughts come to my mind quite often. Like, if somebody, like, you think of somebody really hot right now, you know what I mean? Like, physically, like, yo, she's the shit. Like, you're crushed, you know what I mean? You're a woman crushed. Like, say if she passed away now in her prime, and, like, you're the guy that's, like, like ch- working on her body. Do you, do you sneak a shot at the body with the pictures? <laughs> Is that weird? And it's pretty nasty. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. But you know, there are weird you know motherfuckers out there. Peak. You yeah, know there's, there's a, a nigga out there that's going to take a shot. Like, oh, mm-hmm. shit, it's Pamela. Look at them Pamela titties. Before, like, it gets really rigor mortis sets, and I got to get it fresh and hot. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, it's already on the ground. 
Oh my God! So yeah, that was another thing. So we have a list of um, of they're, people performing. They're, they're doing another, you know, dance around this dead body, and that's <laughs> yo, and that's honestly something that makes me start believing some of the conspiracy theories about how they're talking about the Hollywood is all about the fucking devil and all about the dead right. and shit like that. When it's like, yo, you've been parading this body around, right? Having a party around this dead body for the past four or five Oof. days. What hey, the fuck are you doing? You know what? I did hear about. You know, I educate myself sometime. I was on a, a tour one time at a, at a museum, and they were talking about a spot in Indonesia where they have these caves, and they bury their loved ones in these caves in, like, these wooden uh, coffins uh, that are shaped like ships. And what they do is once a year, they go up there because they mummify them and, you know, wrap them up and shit. They go mummify. up there. They go up there. They take the body out, and then they unravel and ravel it up in new garments, and then they parade them around the village. Once a year. Ugh. I guess until, like, the nigga is no longer remembered by, like, I don't even know who Uncle JoJo is. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uncle, Uncle JoJo. So, but that's crazy. Uh, Aretha's being uh, marched around, and, and I guess, I don't know where this, there's a concert coming up with her <laughs> starring Aretha's body. There is. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like another showing, another wake, another right. fucking. So she will be doing a walkthrough. <laughs> She'll be doing a roll through because they're gonna like, yo, and I bet you like they got all the pomp and circumstance. Like they probably roll out the body to fucking you right. know oh. interest music, like the Rock coming to the ring, just oh fucking. Oh my god, with fucking streamers flying off, rockets, red glare coming off the casket. I'm telling Why you, am bro. I envisioning something really stupid that they would do? <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, like I'm expecting like. I hear the Mortal Kombat theme in my head to where they're just like, <laughs> Are you motherfuckers ready for Aretha? As soon as the fucking beat drops, the casket pops open and they fucking <laughs> prop her up. They got some kind of mechanism that props her body up and the fucking hands on a puppet. Like, with the fucking, you <laughs> holding like, you know, the guns that go bang. She's just got one that's like, Respect! <laughs> respect! The respect flag. Stuck in her hand, she's up there like, what the fuck are people doing? I'm so, telling you, oh bro. Y'all motherfuckers ready for Aretha? <laughs> Y'all ready for this? Oh my god. She made you feel like a natural woman. <laughs> now, <she> <laughs> <laughs> now it's natural for this woman to show oh. you she's not really dead. So let her live through her music only, folks. Yo, just disrespecting her body. like, <laughs> And that's the other thing, too. So now I'm like, so to me, this family, whoever's in charge of it, whoever's in charge of her, yep. they're getting that last drop of fucking money out of her. They're getting that's that last, sounds like, like to me. let's squeeze Aretha for everything that she's got left, man. So how much to get money. Aretha's body here? Oh, it's going to cost you. What about 400 k k right? You got 400 k What's going to cost you? You want to roll through? <laughs> that shit is so <laughs> fucked. Oh man, but I don't know. Did you know where this one was at? Where this? Uh, where they're performing? I don't know where they're performing. Okay. So <laughs> I don't. Know. <laughs> what state or city? Oh. Uh, but uh, so we got Faith Hill's gonna be on the mic. Mm -hmm. Uh, because she's happy with uh, what's his name? The oh my god, yeah, she married uh, something J, Stevie J. Stevie J, and then that's what she confessed about being shitted on. Um, <laughs> Ariana Grande, <laughs> okay, the forever twelve year old. Uh, mm -hmm. She will be performing. My nigga, seeing the truth in all of you, Stevie Wonder. Stevie. Talk to him. Talk to Man, him. Man, I'll be honest with you. Something, uh, it's a little bit of a downer, but he's got to be getting lonely. Because honestly, straight up, I bet you most of the people that he grew up with are fucking dying now. Yeah. Uh, just Stevie's got to be, he's got to be co close to 80, no? 70s at least? Maybe not that old? I feel like he was doing it for a long time. I feel I like, feel like he was, he's got to be close to his 70s. Yeah, because I feel like he was singing in the 50s when he was young. Young yep. feller. Young feller. Uh, yeah, so Stevie, I would really like to see. I, 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 and then Fantasia Marino. I believe that's just Fantasia, right? Is that her last name? Fantasia, yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that's, that sounds that's like, Fantasia uh, from. But you know what's crazy? Two of those people are from fucking American Idol. Who would have oh, ever yeah. thought? Oh, yeah. Jennifer Hudson when she was bigger. And, oh, yeah, uh, Jennifer Hudson. I forgot to mention her. She in the building. She's doing an anthem. National, we all want to take so a knee. Crazy. No, wait, I don't. <laughs> what is she saying? You're taking a knee. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. <laughs> Woo, Jenny Hood. If you ever get a hold of this episode before you do it, um, which I don't know how you would, but maybe you would, <laughs> um, take a knee. Take but my that's advice. funny too because imagine that like you take a knee at Aretha's funeral because <laughs> of the national anthem. <laughs> 
<laughs> you like, but no, that's not that's. Uh. This is not R E S P E C T, guys. Exactly. Make it stop. Rita, come back. Come uh, back. Rita, come back. Oh my god. You can god. blame it all on me. Oh god. So come back, Aretha. And uh, well. Yeah, and let her rest in fucking peace. Like, I, cause, dude, if we are reporting on the same story next week, I'm gonna be like, yo, she's still alive. We need to make a change. <laughs> she's still alive. What do you mean she's still alive? No, she's still alive. Right. Now I've seen shit before. One of the one of the uh, the creepiest shit I ever seen, the bugged out shit I ever seen. Um, now they do this now, when people like uh, been doing this. They basically uh, mumble, they they taxidermy themselves, and 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 make themselves into a mannequin when they die, for the funeral. There was one oh, I saw. Oh yeah, yeah, for for the wake. For yeah, the wake. for the yeah, wake. Yeah, there yeah. was one. The one I saw with, with the kid in New York. He had the fitted hat on. Yep, like the blunt his, in his hand. The blunt and in his hand. X Xbox controller in the chair. Shit. Yep, and he was yep. fucking eyes propped open, which is the scariest shit. Why yeah. would you want to stare at that man like that? You know what I mean? Like, he's looking at you and just like, oh, my God, I, he sees, I see him in there. He's still in there. Like, no, I don't know. That shit is really weird to me, man. Like, yeah. it's like some weird kind of, uh, I don't know, uh, you know, shit that, uh, like, you know, what the fuck is that? When people sleep with dead bodies and shit. Oh, necrophiliac yeah, type shit. So, yeah, it's some one of those kind of fucking things that you you gotta be into some weird shit when you do that. You know? What yeah, I mean? yeah. I feel you on that. I I don't like it. I w I wouldn't want it. Like, I've told everybody that will ever listen, man. I just want to be cremated. Yeah. And with that. dump me in the river where I grew up. Like I grew up on a on the Housatonic River. Just fucking dump me in there. My Let mother's already told me that she's not going to do it, and I was like, you're denying my last right. dying wish, Greg. <laughs> I will haunt you for the rest of my life. <laughs> so I won't be leaving you responsible for that dying wish. Yep. <laughs> like, it's just one of those things that I always uh, think about. Uh, you know, it's the same, getting too high before bed, um, and you think about, okay, yeah, I'm going to die one day, and then you think about, like, wow, I don't want to be put in the ground for bugs and maggots and shit <laughs> right. to eat me. For eating my little corpse, you know? Yeah. Can it just be like, let a, let a nigga burn, burn me up, cuz. He said, yo, just burn me up, take me to the essence. You know what I mean? And, uh, let me you know, go. Let put me, me in the river, dog. Let me fly. Let that corpse fly. You know, let me fly. I'm going to have to tell my daughter, because I love her so much, and she's such a very uh, dramatic young lady. I'm like, baby, I'm going to have to get cremated, because I know you're going to be... 48 and i don't need you jumping on the jumping in casket. the casket at 48 talking about pick me up hold talking me about why hold me dad <laughs> dad no listen baby i'm trying to be around for a little bit you know you never know when but shit yep you got you you, you got to keep in mind that you, you have an idea like well i want to be around <laughs> yeah, yeah you know what i mean like but if something happens i can't control nigga i can't control how can i control the uncontrollable Ooh. niggas don't Bars? understand what's going on <laughs> Out here, but uh, in these streets. who needs to control themselves is motherfucking Kanye's emotions. Speaking oh. of sensitive ass people, uh, so we're Ka all sensitive people. <laughs> so Kanye um, had a the newest, Easter Bunny, uh, the Easter Bunny uh, had a new episode on um, a radio station in Chicago where he was being interviewed and he got very choked up and he's emotional, still emotional and apologizing about his. Slavery comments. Yep. It, it's it's like Kanye. I don't even know if people. I don't even. It's not even barbershop talk no more. No. I'm, I just came from the barbershop today, and trust me, nigga, nobody is talking about Kanye's slavery remark anymore. You now, what? I mean? How was he trying to justify it? Because that seems to be the thing now. <sighs> he's, is he trying to be like he's running with the mental illness. Ugh. He's saying I'm not using the mental illness as an excuse. I'm just. Using the telling <laughs> you, I'm just learning you about I'm it. I'm not, I'm not using mental illness as an excuse. I'm just blaming it on the mental illness. <laughs> but yeah. you need, I'm trying to learn you though. I'm trying to, I'm trying to educate you on what this mental illness is. And it's like, yo, I swear, it's fucking Kim telling him, baby, there's something wrong with you. She has this mind control over the nigga that tells him, yeah. there's something wrong with you. You have a brain problem, and you should go see a doctor. You're right, Kim. Kim, you're right. I got something wrong with my brain. People don't understand me. But I think too that he. And yes, he's one of the most famous people, or one of the most recognizable people in the world. But I think he kind of messes up on his influence, where it's like, right. bro, and that might be still something that's popping in your life, right? But absolutely nobody's thinking about or cares about that statement anymore, you know? Right, right. And I do think that he just messed up. And this, where like, I think he was, I don't know. Maybe he wasn't. But for right. me, I was like, if you're talking about now, yes, I agree with you. Because right. 
there's so much now in 2018 and 2019 like just listen and i know that this is is shitty coming from a white person but like you can't blame white people for all of your problems in 2018 and 2019 right if you choose to be on welfare for your entire life i'm not talking about a small amount where you use it as a springboard to get to something else if you choose to be on uh food stamps for your entire fucking mm. life if you choose to be on cash assistance for your entire life if you choose to be on section eight for your entire life yes then that Right. Slavery is your choice. Right. You're, I don't know if that's what choosing, he was talking about. Right. He, he was saying, uh, I, I, I understand. I think what he was trying to say, but it's like it's stupid and sensitive shit. Like Kanye, there were people that tried to rebel, son. They they were slaughtered. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that fear from people will make them stop rebelling. You know what I mean? Because, it's like the yeah. ultimate is like I will kill. 30 of you niggas just for two of you to get the message. Yep. And it's like, oh, message received. You niggas, I don't want to die yet. I don't, you know. Because that's what, it wasn't his original statement something of like 400 years of slavery sounds right. like a choice to me. Right. Which, I, I, he, I, was, I, he was trying to say, it was, he, then he, he, he led into saying there was just so many of us and nobody, and we couldn't do nothing. Yeah, you know? yeah. But you're talking about like, motherfuckers got guns and shit, man. Yeah, well, and that's the thing too, exactly. You, you got to think like, if there's 400 of you, but hey, there's fucking 10 guys over here with guns. Right. It's, okay, it's, yes, you narrow. might, but you're going to get shot a whole bunch of fucking right. times. You and know the fear I mean? of being like, well, I might be the one that's going to die for this. Not yeah. everybody was willing to die for it, you know? And then there yep. were people that did rebel, and then, like, fuck that. I'm tired of this shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, you know, it was a fucked up thing all around. But I know Kanye, uh, he still apologized. He's all emotional. And then he was emotional about something else. There was somebody that was involved with him in his clothing line that's no longer there anymore, and that relationship dwindled. So now he got, he got really teary-eyed about that and how much that guy meant to him and, you know. And, you know, it's not mental health, but I'm just explaining it to you. But I'm yeah. telling you that's what it is. But it's not that. I'm just explaining it. And like you said before, man, I think a lot of it's just like his little media scheme didn't work for the album. Yeah, I agree. And his yeah. album was fucking garbage. Like, right. And that's what it's funny, too, because there's a whole bunch of, um, you know, publicity and everything when the album comes out. Dude, the next week, absolutely nobody was talking about that fucking album. Right. The next week, absolutely nobody was talking about I that mean, album. I mean, lead-off single was swoopity swoop poop. I, I mean, <laughs> yeah. It's one of those. That's something that Eminem could have gotten away with, like in the early two thousands, yep, which yep. he did, making a bunch of fucking horrible music that people were like, "I like this on purpose." <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm making a choice to like this. Like there was definitely, you know, an honest critique. Like yeah, people yeah, yeah. Felt they they run away from their honest critique of things and just like, well, it's M and I like M, so I gotta like it. Exactly. You know, it, it, it don't gotta be that way. If you really like the nigga, then you should be bold with it. Like, yo, M, you're my nigga. I like you, but this ain't the one. Exactly. You like I, I mean? like you, but I don't like this. And that's how right. I feel about Kanye West. Kanye West has put out a lot of really dope music. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, and that yeah. was one thing where I always kind of like stood that, with him because I was like, okay, yeah, he says a like bunch that, of weird that shit. First, that drop our album was the shit. I remember going to Michigan on a fucking Greyhound listening to that whole album, and it got me through. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's the thing where he would say a, a bunch of goofy shit, yep. but then he would drop some really dope music. Right, right. And this time he said a bunch of goofy shit, and the album was garbage. <laughs> Nothing followed through. Like, no. All right, goofy, now give me the real. And exactly. And give me the real. <laughs> exactly. And I'm still waiting for. <laughs> oh, 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 you're gonna have a guy sing on every chorus? Right. Oh, okay, oh, cool. Man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, you're not gonna rap. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you're just gonna scoopity poop all the way through. Exactly. Okay. All right, Kanye. But uh, it's bottom line is Kanye. Nobody cares. <laughs> yeah, man. Like honestly, get back in the fucking lab. And and that's what I saw a couple weeks ago or about a month ago. He did put out a thing where he was like. I'm never listening to anybody's um, input on my music again. Right. Which I'm hoping means that he's going to start putting out better music. Because right. how I was uh, talking to you about before the podcast is I know that Charlemagne the God interviewed Kanye. He put like an hour interview out before his album dropped. Yep. And then after his album dropped, Charlemagne got on the radio and he said, he was like, that's not the album that I heard. And Kanye had said that, yeah, he went back after the criticism about the slavery comments, after everything, that he went back and made another album, which was like, I don't, I don't, I don't that, know why. Right. Whatever that, choice give me that my is. Ball, give me my ball. I'm going home. I'm going to show you guys. Yeah. I'm going to drop this album, and you're going to buy it. And I'm going to be great, and I'm going to give you the shittiest shit ever. Yep. If he admits that it was shitty, then I think people will give him a little slack on it. I, I, and, and I think maybe that might have been part of what he was trying to say with, like, his I'm never letting anybody way. influence me right. on... Um, 
on my art again because I think he kind of had too many people around where do like if he this, had made another, like he made a different album that Charlemagne was saying was dope, which who knows? I don't necessarily trust every opinion that he has, but right, right. It's uh, it's, it's debatable. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's it's, it's it, and I can see that Kanye holding that, and then he'll drop it next year. This is what the world been waiting for. And this is what I want to chart up, wait and see. And well, you're losing fans, Kanye, right. because when people do get sensitive about certain shit, when they feel like. You were my hero, Kanye, and then you said some shit that really bothered me. Like, you know, when you're talking about dealing with fans, man, you could lose a fan in a second, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and that's kind of what keeps you going. So, you know, like, we don't want to lose you guys. 150, was 59? 154 154 subscribers on YouTube, man. 154 subscribers, man. Hang in there with us, man. We love you niggas, man. And the the new ones. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell them them again. Watermelon versus pumpkin, nigga. You know what time it is. And hit this hotline, man, if you got anything to say, if you want to talk that shit, if you know what it is, man. 203-594-6977, as well as hitting up this... uh, Clothing man, uh, mm-hmm. the, and, and also mugs and socks and different other things, man. GBIClothing.com, WVPShop.com. Try to support that, man. We support are out here that. We appreciate doing it. Man. Loving it, loving it. And what you don't want to do is get shot like uh, <laughs> the Uber driver who popped off on a nigga. Oh, man. Oh, this is a, this is a story you, you, influ- you uh, let on to my ears because I, I was not sure about this one. So what happened in Florida? Yeah, man, happened in Florida. Um, apparently, the Uber driver picks up. This woman is uh, too intoxicated. Single white female. To probably. drive. Yep. Um, so she does the responsible thing and goes to a, you know, goes to uh, a rideshare service. The Uber. The Uber Calls it up. Yep. And um, at, at some point in this, during the uh, drive, she's texting an on-again, off-again ex-boyfriend. Yep. Who oh, and oh, mind you, this is all like two thirty, three o'clock in the morning. So he might be a little bit inebriated in his little, state, little wavy, um, or or even getting different messages and not understanding what, what what she's doing, what the fuck she's talking about. Yep. But so it somehow gets across in his mind from her drunk texting that the Uber driver is. Somebody, like th- th- she's that she's with thing. the Uber driver. You right. know what I mean? She's that, with, like, I got a new man. And exactly. He, and he drives a fucking Subaru Impreza. Yep. And he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's in an Isuzu. He's in an Isuzu. And he treats me good. So now, <laughs> um, drunk, jealous, overprotective, whatever boyfriend decides he's going to chase down the Uber. And that, how the and, fuck and, did he track him down? So this is where I'm like, this bitch might have been on that, like... You know how some girls like to make guys jealous, some right. girls. So that's where I'm like, man, something's up with her, right. too. And we're on the corner of 5th and Washington. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't nigga location and everything. <laughs> and so I'm like, yeah, I'm in a, uh, I'm in a black Jeep, and, uh, yeah, he's driving me home to my house, and we're on Route 34. So it's like, uh. <laughs> Just a Because that's what I'm saying. For, for this dude to know the exact, so now he's going, um, drives after them, mm. you know, making the moves of, like, running the dude off the road a little bit, whatever. Darts in front, slams on the brakes, so the Uber driver stops. This is in Florida. Mm. Stand your ground state. Yep. So the Uber driver gets out of his car because the other guy gets out of his car and is walking toward him. And the Uber driver says clearly, like, yo, I have a gun. Do not come towards me in a threatening manner or I will pop the blicky. I will discharge That's my firearm. Exactly. Um, <laughs> I'm paraphrasing when I say pop right. the blicky. Yeah, I know. But <laughs> I just feel like... Uh, if a nigga says discharge his firearm, you believe he's going to do it. Oh, yeah, yeah. He knows law. <laughs> and um, homeboy runs up on him, trying to, you know, defend the honor of the drunk girl that is, you know, and all that, and who knows what state he was in. Right. Pop, pop, pick it, pop, pop. Please. Bone Thugs and Harmony featuring mm. uh, Tupac and... <laughs> who shot you? <laughs> Yo, and the Uber driver popped a man a couple times and fucking killed him. He does, so he did die. Okay, yeah. shit. And, and it's wild because it's on video, and the best thing that you can have if you're an Uber driver that drives people around mm. is to have that fucking camera, man, because he recorded the entire thing yeah, you need of it. the dude jerking in front of him, hitting the e-brake, stopping yep. him, forcing him to stop, Being an getting, out of, getting out of his truck and running at him in yep. a threatening manner. And the dude let the blicky fly, took a shit and cry, man. The shit was <laughs> all in that order, niggas. Yeah, he popped the shit out so of him. So know who you're running up on, man. You know what I mean? And and just don't fucking run up on people. Right. Like, that's the thing where 
That's I'm really the message. Don't yeah, run yeah. up on anybody if you don't know. You know, you shouldn't be running up on a motherfucker unless you're willing to die for that shit. Exactly, because <laughs> you might die for that shit and die over something so fucking stupid as that piece of pussy that you used right. to have, and then right, because you know. she don't even want to give it to you no more. So just go on. Niggas, yep. there's more out there. Shit, go to the Asian parlor. Go pay for something. I don't know. Yeah. Get, get him a, a swag. You know what I mean? Get that shit out of your system, nigga. And tell her she ain't shit. Right? Yeah. You know I mean? But to me, that, that shit was like, damn, bro, you, you kind of got what you deserved. Like, don't do that big bully. Um, Hip hop loves the word brolic shit. Where right, right. You think because you're in a fucking big ass truck, you can, you know, intimidate everyone. Yeah, when that story. dude. And especially, yo, when you're walking towards someone and they have a gun and like, do not walk towards me, I will shoot you. That nigga's you calling his bluff. Yeah. Fuck you. You ain't gonna do nothing. I, I'm, I'm gonna. Fuck back. you. You I'm, ain't gonna pop, pop, right. pop. Whoa. I'll take. Cause now what happens is if I say get away from me, I got a gun. You're coming at me now, my nigga. I'm exactly. saying, you could take this gun from me and shoot me. Yep. Get the fuck out of it. That ain't happening. My life is threatened. Uh -huh. Back up, nigga. You gonna take that pop, pop? I don't know. Dude, and never that mind. State, but in my opinion, if you live in Florida. Well, I, I mean, I, I guess I can't assume that because I live in Connecticut and I don't know all the gun laws. But I will say, if you live in Florida, mm -hmm. you probably know the stand your ground law. You know right. what I mean? You probably know that, like, yo, if I come after him or if I'm in somebody's house robbing it and they shoot the shit out of me, well, yep. that happened. Yep. So you got to know your state. And you, you, I mean, the news, we know it and we wait to fuck up here. We see it. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's Zimmerman, hello. I mean, you know, the guy that at the gas station and, you know, it's just a bunch of silly shit, you know. We don't have that up here, Northeast niggas. We don't have that stand your ground shit. So you better have that nigga better have a knife or a gun or something. Yeah, they 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 even say like around here, man. Like if you shoot somebody, make sure that they land inside your house. Right. No and matter no no matter how, and, make sure that they land inside. And they say when you discharge that fucking firearm, look at that. See, I'm telling law shit right there. You discharge, you pop that shit on that nigga. You better take him out. Because yeah. if a, a nigga that's alive will sue your ass uh -huh. <laughs> because for breaking into your house right. and then you injured them, you you <laughs> injured him, he broke into your house, and now you getting sued. Like, hold hold on, because he didn't have a gun on him. So it's got to be that's that F T double S. That's that fuck that shit, son. Fuck, fuck that shit, son. Fuck that shit. No, but it's, they even say like if somebody's climbing in your window and you pop them and they fall out the window, right. Like, you better go outside, pick that nigga up, and toss him in. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. You get your punk ass in the window, nigga. Fuck that blood splatter on the grass. We're gonna rip that whole patch up. For real, dude. <laughs> no, man, the shit is crazy. Um, so yeah, that that road rage, I would keep, you know, try to keep that shit under wraps. And dude, I've had it before too, where sometimes you're just like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Right, right. But also, you don't, you also don't know what the fuck they are packing. They right. Have the blicky. Listen. Stay safe out there and stop fucking with people. For real. Mind your business. <laughs> Mind your business. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So we, 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 we almost here, y'all. We almost here in Philadelphia. For you know? real. I hope to not see uh, a, a fake veteran panhandling. I'm sorry. Uh, I just want to speak about it for a quick second. I know we, we running out of time here, but a quick second, my peoples. Uh, for the niggas out there that hold up signs that say, I'm homeless, help me. Um... I, uh, I'm a veteran. And you know damn well the nigga don't look like a veteran. He just a nigga that put on a military hat and, and, and is keeping it plugging. Yep. Feel free to pull over and slap that nigga because military people do. Yeah, they military pulled a, they people pulled a car. fuck you up they if that's what a, you're they, doing. Especially if they did a couple tours. What? Yeah. I did some tours. You niggas <laughs> disrespecting what my brothers died for? Oh, nigga, you're going to get it. You're going to get the business. Standing out there with a goddamn sign and, and a peace sign. Like, this ain't 71, nigga. That shit don't fly. I think it might even be halfway legal to fuck them up. If you're, uh, <laughs> if, if you're a soldier, you know what I mean? Like, if you're a soldier and you walk up to one of these, um, uh, what, what's it called? Uh, stolen Valor motherfuckers. Yep. And you're just like, yo, what what, what battalion right, right, was you right, repping? Right. And, and, the, and the motherfuckers better know. You might not make them no bullshit because niggas know different barracks. Oh, yeah, you yeah. Fort Jackson? Okay. Mm -hmm. They still got Colonel Colonel Johnson still out there? Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's one of those you better not have bought that uh, outfit from Goodwill. I'll tell right, you that. You right. know what I mean? Because and, and a real nigga know when it's some bullshit. Like, that ain't even official. Uh -huh. And you got the nerve to wear it out here? Mm. Like, a real nigga that say a vet and might be asking for money, he not going to wear his shit out there. He not going to go get his... his, his uh, authentic attire and it's like let me just post up with this shit right here today. that's true too is 90 percent, 99 percent of the people uh if you are homeless and begging for money you would be most likely too proud to fucking 
Right. Be out there in your gear. I think they they would feel like that almost be disrespectful to their gear. Yep. And and, and, I mean, that's one thing you give to man. Military niggas, they proud as shit, man. You can't. It's really hard to see a nigga that's. I mean, don't get me wrong. There are motherfuckers that were in the military that that got strung out. Yeah, yeah. To say maybe that happened to him, maybe he did get strung out, but real military niggas a G check. I'm like, you're not for nothing, man. You're a disgrace. I understand you're down and out, soldier. Get on your fucking feet. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, go to the VA. Get, right. get your shit right. Get help. Get out there. That's not what we're about. You're not representing the code or the flag that we do. Bars. You know? Shit, nigga. We out here. I think we almost here in this bitch, nigga. So true. So you know true. You know what I'm saying? No, man. Uh, the world is fucking crazy out there. Mm. The world is fucking wild. Wild. But I love it, man. If you okay. guys got any stories about Stolen Valor, if you got any stories about Michael Jackson, if you got any stories about Aretha Franklin, <laughs> if you got any stories about, man, if you got any crazy Uber stories, right. brother, let us know, let man. 203-594-6977. That's a call or a text. And mm-hmm. uh, like I said, man, we don't do a live show. This is a recorded show. Right. so We'll play it. If you call us or if you text us, man, we'll either read it out, we'll play it, we'll respond to it. Uh, right. Hey, man, if you even want some promo for the right. podcast that you do, because I right. know you do a podcast. Now listen, folks, if you're nervous, we'll you think it's stage fright, we're not picking up. You're leaving a message. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I think some people might get stage fright. I don't want to have to talk. No, call, leave a message. Yeah, or yeah. text, leave a message. You know what I mean? And we and we will. It's it's, it's like a forum, guys. <laughs> we're gonna yep. we're gonna put it out there. You know what I mean? So just work with us, and we work together, nigga. Because that's one of the things that we like to do is just um, we're not out here claiming our opinion is better than anybody else's. What what we like to do is talk about all this shit, man. Right. Yo, if you think we're wrong, if you think we're right, that's cool. We that's take open no market, offense, baby. Man. We like it's it. all about um, hey, let's have a conversation. Cause mm-hmm. that's what I'm sure everybody loves to do is get up. Talk about things, see what is what, and right. uh, hash it out. Hash it out. Talk about why we're in Philadelphia and they got Dollar Trees out here. I like mm-hmm. that. I like Goodwill that. stores, Good you never know. I like that. TD Bank, that's my bag. Oh, see, nigga, Burger King everywhere. <laughs> so, yeah, man, episode 35. Um, we apologize for not talking about these athletes because we don't uh, know them like that. But episode 36, when we come back, we definitely will. Oh, 36? Um, oh, that's drone better. About these that's drone, See, drone that's drone what it is. So, so, next episode, we we, we about to bet us it up. But, yeah, uh, man. Go ahead, go ahead. 35. Let him know. Ke- let Kevin him know. Durant, Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant, number KD, 35. 35. He representing out it. He out here, cuz. It's a beautiful I love, thing. I love that niggas. I'm Young Pastry. Why you NG? Pastry, catch me where you catch me. You know, the, the nigga with the poof top, but right now I'm doing my rooftop with the Eagles, nigga. We out here, and mm-hmm. we in here. And at the end of the day, my Fuck niggas. Fuck around and get your boots knocked at the end of the night. You know, it's real shit, and we give you all the kill shit. So we love all y'all. Thank y'all, all the subscribers and all the listeners, man. We really do appreciate y'all. Real shit, though. Oh, yeah. Like, share, and subscribe. Episode 35, Lil Mattress on everything. WVPshop.com, GBIClothing.com. Yo, I'm driving and I'm talking. And Yo, you guys, this is no see, now I wonder if this is illegal real quick. Hey, I couldn't be on the cell phone, <laughs> but can I do a podcast? Oh, we got a cop. Let's pull over the ass nigga. Officer, is this, is, it, is this a go? No. Are we I cool? Don't. Are we cool? <laughs> Woo. Mount Ephraim. Wow. I love it. Yo, once again, man, episode 35, thank you guys for listening. Please hit like, share, and subscribe, and all that. Uh, Tell a friend to tell a friend that it's them again. Peace. Peace.